Hello, I may indeed be the Ronin Pawn, and this is Hardcore Pawn, and welcome to 1.04. KSP 1.04 is out, and we are playing it today. Ladies and gentlemen, don't look at my private shard. Don't look at it. It will blind you with its glory. 1.04 is out, ladies and gentlemen, and oh my goodness, the heat effects are in full effect, and getting a lot of things blown up and killed. There's a lot of things to be afraid of in the 1.04, especially if you're running a hardcore mode series on the YouTubes like I've been doing. So, um, Gene, what are we doing today? Let's just take stock of where we are right now. Now, we've been to the moon, we orbited it, and we came back. However, in order to come back, Val needed to get out and push it back, which meant that I had to pay 150k to upgrade a facility, and which means that we're now down to less than 100k, and we don't have the VAB upgraded, which means we're still limited to 30 parts. <clears throat> Considering the danger of heat effects in the 1.04, I think we should just take it easy, we'll just ease into 1.04 in the new heating effects by testing the Poodle, okay, for 32k, and testing the Thud for 15k. We'll just, we'll just get warm to it, you know? We'll, we'll just dip a toe in, instead of jumping headfirst into the shock heating plasma fiery death balls. Before we do get started, however, we have science to spend. My goodness, wouldn't it be nice to have the full size fuel tanks. Where, where are they? Where the, that's the Oscar E. That's that's a mini tank. Where's the full size fuel? I don't have the fuel. Where where is it? I need it. Give it to me. Give it to me hard and fast like I like it. There it is and we get fuel ducting with that. I think that's the way to go considering our 30 part count limitation so I'm taking it. I'm thinking electricity probes and more science sounds like an excellent thing including radiator panels new to the 1.04. We need to test this thud at uh, between 8 and 10 kilometers at a speed of 200 to 1,000 meters per second. That is an actually, you know, doable. Wow, that's new. You gave me a, a mission that wasn't uh, opening your parachutes at 150,000. And the Poodle service engine on a suborbital trajectory over Kerbin, so we need to come out and go back down. And then that's between 80 and 96k. We can do that easily as well. All this in one ship, high profit margin, nobody dies. Please listen carefully. Okay, now listen, listen everybody, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You are thinking that I forgot to bring that landing gear in in the VAB, and you're right, I did. I'm sure you're not looking at this thing and saying anything that has to do with aerodynamics. Listen, we needed to test the poodle. I forgot that the poodle meant the smallest of the giant freaking engines in the second. Anyway, the poodle needs to just get out of orbit. We just need to get high. We need to get really high, stoned, and 80 kilometers to 96 kilometers. So what I need to focus on is testing the thud on the way up between 8 and 10 kilometers, making sure my speed is above 200 meters per second, and then we'll just go on out to space. Houston, um, could you, uh, could you give us a countdown for this, for this thing? Yeah, uh, no. What? 
yeah, there, there are actual safety regulations that I have to abide, and this ship violates pretty much all of them. Houston, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we don't have any safety regulations. I mean, have you, have you seen the other episodes of Hardcore Porn? Just because you don't abide them doesn't mean that they don't exist, and I am bound by law to not count backwards from three for you in this position. Oh. Well, uh... Well, okay. Uh, then just sit back and watch me go, Houston. In three, two, one... It just doesn't feel right without you doing it. I know, I want to do it too. But I, I just, I, I can't go without your voice. Well, that's sweet, Pawn. That's, that's really sweet of you. I, 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 I feel uncomfortable. I don't feel like we can launch this unless you count down for us, Houston. Well, I can't. Regulations. Listen, Houston. I mean, just this once, maybe. No, 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 no. Houston, come on. No, 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 no. Gee, come on. We've done things that, you know, we can't talk about. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I will launch it right now if you don't talk anymore. In three, two, one, go. Thank you, Houston. Anytime. Okay, we're going up. We're going up. So, 200 meters per second. Does, no, 200, yes, with it, and between 8 and 10 kilometers. I will fire that stage. Right. Okay. Just gonna go straight up here. Don't want to do anything tricky. I may or may not be carrying something that is definitely not aerodynamic at all. Jebediah, you're bringing up Bob for the fact of just getting him some science. Okay, forgot to turn SAS on there, Jeb. That was a bad move. All right, keep, keep your speed. Keep your speed. We need to go uh, over 200. Over 200 meters per second is what we need to be doing here, um, Mr. Jebediah. That's good. Just get right ten, to top dead on the ball. No, don't fall back that way. Top dead on top dead on the ball, Jeb. Oh, my God. You're scaring the hell out of me. We're about to breach 800 or 8 kilometers. 8 kilometers. Here we come. 8 kilometers. Okay, fire the others. Did we do it? We completed that contract. That contract is complete. The thud has been tested. Okay, step one of one is done. That was fun. Uh, get a gun or else we'll be put into prison. Put the gun next to her body. That tourist was, she was a threat to the space setter. Okay, we've done it. We've done it. That is between 80 and 96 kilometers. When we get up here, we destage these tanks, which are just being, you know, wasted, really. They're just being thrown out there and left in space. Lots of money in those tanks that we're not going to get back. But no one's dead, which is a very odd thing. So let's pop open the service bay and see if I can't take some temperature readings. Those will be new for us. Where's that temperature thingy? I, I've got it hanging, don't I? Yes, you definitely have it hanging. It's it's dangling, Ronan Pond. Why can't I touch it? Let me touch it. Let me touch the dangly bit. No, no, you've been naughty. Oh, we're in space, and I can't reach my naughty bits in order to touch them. Give me. Give me touchy of the naughty. Where is it? There it is. No, come on. Let me do it. I, I so want to do it. All I've ever wanted to do is touch this. Okay, log the temperature in space near Kerbin. Um, seriously? You want to know the temperature now? We're in space. Who cares? <laughs> we are in the right place to actually use the poodle in three, two, one, do it now. Okay, did it do? Did it, did it go? Yes, yes, we've tested the poodle, we've tested the thud. And goodbye, thing. Thank you for bringing us up here, despite looking like that was absolutely and utterly impossible. You did excellent work. <laughs> Is there more science to be gathered? I mean, we do have a, um... We do have, oh, we do have getting out of the ship now. That's a new thing, and I haven't collected science from all the places anymore. So EVA report for you from in space just above Kerbin's water. Thank you very much, Jeb. Jeb, wait, Jeb, no, screw you, screw you. Jeb, get back in. If we've got Bob, if we brought him up here, then Bob should see what space is like. You, sir, being the Kerbal, who's a scientist, are going to gather the EVA for us. EVA report from space above Kerbin's water. You are reminded of the myriad sailors who have been adrift in the ocean below, and here you are, the first one adrift in space. Except for, except for the others, Bob. You're not the first, although you did actually get off the ground this time, which um, I didn't think that that was ever going to happen for you, Bob. Congratulations, high five. High five. Yeah, Bob, just keep hanging on for dear life. It's probably the wise thing to do. Wait a second, Bob. Can you, can you, oh, there's not a lot of time, but Bob, could you get out and actually collect the data from the, uh, 
from the temperature ma majigger? Oh god, no, don't do that. Don't spin the ship, Bob. That is entirely not what I wanted you to do. Okay, this is going the wrong way. Take the data from the thermometer, and oh my god, you're in atmosphere. This is this is how I planned it completely. Give me an EVA report from the upper atmosphere, and then get in the ship. Give me a give me a temperature scan before we get through the uh, to, to toggle display. Log the temperature from the upper atmosphere. Yay, that's that's more science. I couldn't bother, be bothered to read that. Why don't you guys just um, uh, Mr. Editor, pause the video and read that in case it was really funny. Which it probably wasn't. Okay, we're back in atmosphere and we're coming down. Um, we need to just drop the poodle too, don't we? Yeah, we kind of do. Oh, look it. Look at the poodle with its just wagging its tail. It's such a happy little poodle. He is such a brilliant little poodle. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that immediately. Give me SAS and go to... Oh, Jeb, you can hold your, your retrograde? Hold your retrograde, Jeb. All the way down here, because things and reasons and stuff and guys and I'm, yeah, shock heating in the 1.04. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is it. Are we going to survive? Lord only knows. Lord only knows. Ah, that doesn't look good. Okay, okay, how we doing? How we doing? How is the ablator doing is a good question. Ablator, um, holding out. I only put 20 on there. We're coming down rather fast. Rather super ultra fast. I don't like how fast we're coming down. We just went straight up. No, 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 no. Okay, we flipped over. Oh, we're going very fast. We're going very fast. I need to pop these parachutes at just the right time. At just the right time. Oh, God, both of the chutes have been destroyed. You know, stuff happens. We all knew it was coming sooner or later. Might as well get it out up front. The important part is we tested the thud. We tested the poodle. The thud is what well. we tested all the things. And our reputation is coming up. Bob and Jeb will be remembered when we spend the 30,000 kerbins that they earned us with their lives. You know, they died for science. Let's just say that. They died for science. Because now we know about parachutes, um, you know, burning off and ripping off if you're going too fast and, um, and shock heating and all the many ways for you to die in KSP 1.04. We've just got Bill and Val left these days, so let's be very careful with them. And also let's watch as they develop an awkward romance, being the only two Kerbinoths left in the whole facility. I am the Rodin Pawn! I will see you next time. Pawn! Out! Not as out as Jeb and Bob, but, you know, to a lesser degree. Out! Not like them, though. I mean, they are really out. They pieced out hard.